Hey voters, it's Jim from Ray Marine with an Axiom Series tech tip. There's two different ways you can update your Axiom multifunction display to the new Lighthouse 4 software. You can do it using Wi-Fi or you can do it using a micro SD card. I'm going to show you both ways. Here's how you do it. So to do a Wi-Fi upgrade, you're actually going to start on your Axiom display. Let me bring mine up on the screen so you can see it. Now you're going to go down here to settings right off of your home screen on the bottom right hand corner. You're going to touch update software and for a Wi Fi update, we're going to do a check online. Now here using the Wi Fi settings button, you could actually connect to a nearby Wi Fi hotspot or your mobile phone. So you'd select your hotspot, put in your passcode and connect to the network. I'm already connected to the guest network here at the office. So I'm just going to hit the back button. Once you are connected to your network, go ahead and hit the start button. Axiom is going to go out and communicate with Raymarine servers, and it's going to look for software not only for itself, but all of your other peripheral devices as well. So you can see it's found a software update, in this case, Lighthouse 4 for my Axiom XL24 display. Um, you can see the rest of my system is already up to date, so none of the boxes are checked. So we're only going to be downloading Axiom uh, Excel software, uh, and in this case, by clicking on this little information button, I can see it's going to bring my system up to Lighthouse version 4. So when I'm ready to proceed, I can just hit the Update Selected button, and Axiom will start the process of downloading the information from Raymarine server. When it's finished, it's going to apply the updates, reboot your Axiom, and you'll be ready to go. The other way to update your Axiom display is using a micro SD card. Now this process is just a little bit more involved because you're gonna to have to go over to raymarine.com on your computer, download some files, program them onto the card, and then bring the card to your boat and install it in your Axiom. But here's how it works. It's actually pretty easy to do. First, you're gonna go over to raymarine.com, and I've already got it up here on my laptop, and all of our software is stored in the support section. So I go here to support and then software updates, this is our main software updates landing page, and it shows me different categories of products. So Axiom is a multifunction display. And down here in the menu, you can see Lighthouse 4. It's going to bring you over to our software staging site. So just click the Acknowledge button to proceed on through. And here we are on the Lighthouse 4 software update page. Now, on this page, you'll find our software history. You'll see what kinds of things have been added or fixed in the software. Lots of good information here, uh, but scrolling back up towards the top middle of the page, you have two options. You have a full download or a partial download. Now, if the only device you want to update is your Axiom and only Axiom, you can do a partial download, which is a little bit smaller file. Um, if you have other devices like radar, autopilots, instruments, things that also might need a software update, then take the full download option. You'll get software for all of those as well. So I'm going to click the button. To start the download process, I do need to tell it my email address, and I'm going to say download the software. So it's going to begin downloading the software to my computer's hard drive, and it's going to take a few minutes to do that. It's a pretty big file. It's about a gigabyte to two gigabytes, depending on whether you took the partial or the full download. So while that is downloading, magically, I have a completed file here, and this is what you're going to see in your downloaded files folder. You're going to see a zip file. It's called axiom underscore upgrade underscore and networked ISOs. So this file is not quite ready to go onto axiom as it is. We actually need to extract this file. This container kind of contains all the different software bits together, makes it so we can provide it to you in a single download. But before we can put it over here on axiom, we do need to decompress it. So here in Windows, um, I can right click and I can say um, open. And this is going to open the file. And then I can either come up here and say extract all, or I can just select everything that is in this folder. And then I can drag it onto my micro SD card that I've already got plugged into the card reader on my laptop. So I'm just going to take all these files drag them down here onto my micro SD card, which my computer identifies as D. It could be a different letter on your card. And it's going to take, again, a few minutes for it to decompress these files and move them 
over onto your micro SD card. When that finishes, you're going to take that card from your laptop and bring it over to Axiom. Let's take a look at that now. So with all of those files copied onto this micro SD card, I'm going to take it and pop it into the card reader on my Axiom display. I have an Axiom XL, so I actually have an external card reader kind of hiding behind my unit here, but I'm going to take the card, I'm going to plug it in, and within a few seconds, hopefully Axiom is going to recognize it. So we'll give it a second here to recognize the card. And you can see it has identified that there is a software update on this card. So it's asking me, would I like to install it? So I am going to say yes. Now you'll notice that Axiom is going to, again, query the card. It's going to look at all the software that's available. It's going to compare the software on the card versus the devices that are on my network. And it sees that I have an Axiom XL24 that needs to be updated. So it's checked the box in green to tell me that it's, it intends to update that device. It also sees my i70 instruments and my CTOK NG converter and my other network devices, but none of those are in need of an update, so they don't have their boxes ticked. And again, to confirm what it's going to load onto my system, I can hit this little info button right here out on the end, and it shows me the current version on my system is 3.16.84. That was the last version of Lighthouse 3. The new version being installed is 4.00.70. That's the new Lighthouse 4. So now that I am ready to go, I'm satisfied with what it's about to do, I'm going to hit the Update Selected button. Now, this is going to take a few minutes. It's actually going to load files uh, onto Axiom. Axiom is going to reboot. Um, and in a few minutes, it'll come up, and it will be ready to operate. So that is how you update the software in your Axiom Series multifunction display, again, either using Wi-Fi or through the micro SD card method. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Raymarine Live.